morning from the Fort of the This is Chris Robinson with your Traders exclusive comment today, Tuesday the 9th. Tomorrow, we've got a, a WASD report from the uh, USDA. It's going to give you some chance to catch some activity in the grains. First things first, you've got to know where the funds are. Funds still have a big short position, short 75,000 wheat, short 135,000 corn, short 100,000 soybeans. They're long position. They're long about 60 to 62,000 contracts of bean oil. They got a little bit of support last week with the uh, biodiesel uh, uh, allotments for next year. It was friendly for, uh, for biodiesel. That's, it was friendlier for beans than it was for ethanol. So that's something to look at. It's giving you an opportunity, however. We've had, in, in the past uh, uh, two to three weeks, wheat's had a nice rally, a 75 cent rally off of contract uh, five year lows. So we've rallied 75 cents. Uh, we're at two month highs today as I speak. Now, are you bold? Do you think you're gonna get an extension? Uh, it's, it's, you know, really kind of, at this point it's a coin flip. I would think that after we had a $2 sell off starting back before Christmas, a 75 cent rally, not that unusual. Maybe we get another 25 cents to get the halfway back point. Uh, but again, tomorrow's WASDI report gives you a chance to, to uh, put a trade on, depending on your bias, long or short. Uh, again, though, wheat at a two-month high as I speak, 75 cents off the low. Switching over to corn and beans. Corn uh, new crop has bounced about uh, 25 cents off of its low, contract low. It's right up against the 100-day moving average, which is at 388, uh, 389. A lot of farmers have got $4 in their sights. They'd love to see $4. Um, Time will tell whether or not we'll see that. It would take some sort of a weather market to get that going. Looking at the wheat, the wheat's rallied about 25 cents off of its recent uh, four and a half, five year lows. So is it a dead cat bounce or is it a, uh, the start of a new rally? Uh, that's why we come to work every day and do price discovery. Tomorrow could give you an opportunity. We may have a little bit of fireworks uh, after the release. The release is at 11 o'clock tomorrow. That's really the biggest thing I'd look at tomorrow. We've got opportunity because of this WASDI report. We've had a nice bounce in corn, wheat, and beans. Uh, it's up to you. Are we going to have follow through or is this the dead cat bounce to sell? From the floor of the CME, this is Chris Robinson. Hope you make some dough.